When your child first swears at you, there's a good chance that they're still small enough that you take responsibility for that. They heard it from somebody and you're not exactly sure who, maybe it was a neighbor kid, but there's a good chance that you understand that they're just trying out new words. However, when they get to that tween teen age and they use a swear word, it feels personal. So we start to have this response to it that says, I don't deserve to be treated this way by you. And there are a couple of different ways that kids use swear words. One of uh, the main ways that we use a swear word is it slips out when we are emotionally entangled ourselves. So just like adults, teens use those swear words when they feel at a loss of how to feel empowered. So think about the time when maybe a word slipped out of your mouth. That's what happens for them as well. They feel uh, the pressure of that uh, moment when they don't have anything more relevant to say to plead their case. And then it's, well, you're a uh, fill in the blank. And when that happens, we feel attacked. Instead of recognizing they've gone over the edge and the emotional upset is just that great. So how do we, how do we respond to that? You say to a teenager who has just said, well, you're just whatever it is they just said. You recognize they're in an emotional state and they're having a challenge right now. So instead of joining them in that and, and giving them uh, your lecture about how you don't talk to me that way and I'm not putting up with that crap from you and perhaps even swearing back at them, you stop, you take a very deep breath and you say, I don't appreciate being spoken to that way. It seems like you could use a moment to just regain your, your, yourself, come back to yourself and then we'll talk again. So give them a moment to step away and take their own, uh, their own check of, is this the person I truly want to be, rather than blaming and shaming them in that moment. Let them have that moment.